Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in again. Well, probably guess where I am right now. Um, there's not many places here in Australia where you're going to get weather like this, so it's pretty obvious that we're in the snowy mountains. Uh, it's early June. There's been some snow forecast here over the next few days, so we've decided to come down here to the snowy mountains and just do a bit of a drive around, see what we can find. Uh, it's the middle of the afternoon now and it's, it's sort of snowing pretty well as you can see. So the intention today is just to drive around, see what we can find. Um, hopefully we'll find some brumbies in the snow. Um, that's what we're going to look for. Uh, and hopefully we might even find a few good landscape images as well. So pretty excited to get down here into the snowies and, and get a bit of this nice snow. Hopefully maybe even some nice uh, snow gum photos or something like that. So um, we'll jump in the car and uh, we'll go exploring and we'll bring you guys along for the ride.
guys. Well, it's actually day two now. Um, not much ended up happening yesterday. Not long after we filmed the intro yesterday, the weather really closed in. Snow got really heavy, roads got icy. Um, the the uh, conditions were really challenging. So we sort of, we had to pull out. We couldn't go any further on the road. Um, but it's now day two, we've come back today. There's lots of snow overnight, probably about two feet of snow overnight. Um, the conditions today are amazing. They're really, really amazing. So we're in the, uh, the Snowy Mountains, Long Plains sort of region. Uh, we're just cruising around. We've already seen lots of cool stuff. Um, there's a light snow shower going through at the moment, but uh, the roads aren't too bad today. They've been ploughing the roads and um, things are looking good. We've just seen quite a bit of wildlife. We've seen some rabbits, uh, some birds. Uh, we haven't come across any Brumbies yet, but hopefully we will pretty soon. We've already got a couple of good landscape images today as well, so uh, we're pretty excited. We're going to hang around for the next couple of hours, and I'm pretty sure we'll get some uh, pretty cool footage and hopefully some, uh, some really good images for you as well. Well guys, just so excited what we've been waiting for. We've just found, I don't know if you can see back here, we've just found a mob of Brumbies on the side of the road. Pretty icy, snowy conditions. I don't even know if we can go much further on the road here, but just up here in the trees behind us, a mob of Brumbies. Really excited about this and I think we've got some good shots too. Oh guys, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm actually videoing. There's a mob of Brumbies just up in the uh, clearing here. I'm on a wide angle here, 1635, so I'm at 35 millimetres here, but you can see them just up there. Very cold, very windy, icy. <laughs> um, I'm laying in the snow at the moment, but um, amazing, amazing sight. Absolutely stunning.
So guys, there's just uh, something I wanted to talk to you about and that's your camera settings when you're out shooting in the snow. A lot of people ask me about uh, what sort of settings they should use on their camera when they're out shooting in the snow and it can be a little bit tricky at times to understand how to get your exposure right. One tip that I want to give you is whenever you're shooting in the snow, in the snow or in a scene where everything's very white, uh, one is your white balance, you want to get the right white balance. Auto white balance for me tends to make things quite blue, so I'd probably go away from auto white balance, would go to a cloudy uh, or a shade white balance, so that's one tip. Uh, the other thing, I tend to shoot a lot of handheld stuff in the snow because there's enough ambient light. Um, I don't really use any filters at all, like today I've really used no filters. Sometimes I use a circular polarizer if I want to get a bit more contrast in the sky or if things are a little bit too glary I'll use a circular polarizer but for the most part I'm not really using any filters. One thing uh, if you're shooting trees in the snow you want to you want that you know you might have two or three trees in the foreground and you want those trees to look nice and sharp but you sort of want the background to actually fade away a bit you want it to lose focus so it's a bit sort of softer in the background so I tend to keep the aperture down a bit probably uh, f5.6 or somewhere around there just so it'll it'll hold your trees in focus but uh, be a little bit softer in the background that's another tip and uh, one final thing is really important is your exposure compensation on your camera and I'll, I'll give you a close-up of that in a second and explain that to you uh, in a really white scene so a snowy scene I tend to run my exposure compensation one full stop overexposed um, you'll find that makes a big difference um, because the whole scene's white the camera doesn't really know how to expose it properly so I find it's better if it's a full stop overexposed in a, uh, in a snowy scene and, and the opposite for that if you're in a black scene if you're in a scene that everything behind is very dark you probably want to go uh, a stop under exposed but for the snow definitely one stop over okay guys so this is the back screen of my Canon R5 this little graph down the bottom here is your exposure compensation you can just go into that brings up this little display here and you can see that I've got it plus one where the little green uh, indicator is zero or the middle that would be your normal uh, normally where most people would expose in the middle but I have it plus one so that's uh, one stop over on your uh, exposure compensation Well guys that's a wrap on today's video and what an unbelievable day it's been. We were just saying earlier just how fortunate we are to experience a day like this. This is the Snowy Mountains Highway or, or not far from where we are so the road that runs through these mountains. I've travelled this road many times 
uh, throughout my life. Grew up uh, only a few hours away from here. And this is definitely the most snow I've ever seen in this region. And today's just been one of those really once in a lifetime days, really. Just a really special day to see some brumbies in the snow. Just beautiful um, alpine conditions here. It's been a fabulous day. We've enjoyed it immensely. I'm going to uh, show you some of the images that we've captured. I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. Um, we've certainly enjoyed it. It's been super fun. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just one more thing I always say on my videos. Please do me a favour. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on this video. Let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, even let us know which is your favourite of the images that we show you. Um, and if you like my content, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, we'll see you again soon, guys. If you'd like your own print of one of these images to hang on your wall at home, all of the images in this video are available for sale as prints in any medium delivered anywhere in the world. Please contact me through my website to organise a print.